Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakbarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Going into the news, all right, as you can see, I uh, have this video. Um, as you can see, the title of it Neuralink Nightmare. Okay, Neuralink Nightmare. Elon's brain chip trials are a total horror show. All right, and um, I'm going to play the video. And uh, as we have openly seen these devils year after year use the Lord's creation as a part all right of their trials and there's no cry out against these things okay every year every research every uh study that these devils do all right it's always accompanied with animals beast pretty much being used all right as um means to experiment these different technologies gene altering and many more things on all right and uh scripturally this can be identified and linked to the so-called white man esau edom who runs this current beast system all right and when you look up the word beast all right in the new testament the greek word is therion all right which was a beastly savage ferocious man all right that's what beast is symbolic for and we're living in a beast system and the practices against humanity are beastly cruel and savage okay this is the 666 system the man of sin is being revealed all right so i'm going to play this video and as you can see, the title of it is dealing with the spoil of the beast. And this is just a little insight into the mass uh, death. All right. Not only in the, the world of the humans, all right, the world of plants, herbs. All right. But animals are under attack in this man's system and people all right, just blink an eye. All right, and just move on to the next thing when they see these things. All right, with this whole Neuralink situation where Elon Musk is at the forefront of this whole, you know, brain chip, you know, brain interface software program that they're preparing. We've seen them use pigs, mice, monkeys, roaches, and various other animals. All right, for the point of experimentation. All right, we saw it live. Okay, uh, you know where they brought out these GMO pigs. <laughs> all right, who are under mind control? GMO monkeys who are under mind control with chips on their brain. All right, and when you really sit and think of how ridiculous that is. All right. It should, call, it should be a big uproar in this world behind this, but these are things that are suppressed, thrown under the, 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 the rug. But with this situation here, uh, you have this YouTube channel uh, speaking about the Fed so-called investigating Elon Musk, which they're not really going to investigate him and nothing's really going to happen. This is just a point of you know distraction and to have the people to believe all right, that these elites are being investigated or, you know, somebody's going to do something like, you know, if you look in the news, you see Elon Musk is supposed to come out with all of these fouls on uh, Fauci. All right. And we know nothing is going to come of it because the truth about that guy has always been out there in his crimes against humanity. But anyway, I'm going to play this video and then we'll get a few scriptures to back all of what we see happening before our eyes up. Elon 
Musk's medical device company, Neuralink, is now facing a federal investigation over statements coming from internal staff indicating that the way animal trials were run within the company were cruel and certainly broke, according to their accusations, animal welfare laws. Now, the complaints allege that the animal testing that's being conducted now, if this was a righteous society, you wouldn't be able to test on animals in God's cre uh, creation either way. The scriptures tell you to study the birds, the beast, you know, and so forth. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, but to take the Heavenly Father's creation, all right, which all of these things were created for a purpose, and subject them, okay, to a mass enslavement, for the purpose of experimenting on them, altering their DNA, putting chips in their brain is absolutely mad. Okay? But as you're going to listen to this uh, news clip, you know, the fact that he has the animals and, you know, and there's, there's billions of animals worldwide that are subject to this. There's billions of human beings worldwide that are subject to this. You have... All manner of children just coming up missing. All right, what do you what do you think is going on in these science labs? All right, what do you think is going on in these no fly zones where these devils are just able to uh, do evil and wickedness? All right, without any one knowing what's happening. Well, we know what's happening. Epstein Island was a was a was a small example of what goes on in these no fly zone areas in these institutions, okay? And that's what a lot of these universities are set up for. The majority of them, all of them are set up, all right, so that they can privately conduct all manner of evil and wickedness. If you own the land, you own the university, you can pass laws to where no investigation will ever go on on what happened. It was the universities where Alfred Kinsey and these uh, wicked Devils experimented on children, okay, millions of children to come to the conclusion that children, all right, no matter what age, even if they're newborn, can get enjoyment from sex. Alfred Kinsey did that at universities here in American soil. All right. But let's keep listening to this. This is you devils have a lot to pay for, man. And your your crimes against humanity ain't nothing to just look look at and then switch to the next thing. No, all of these things are going to be addressed. Conducted has been rushed, leading to needless suffering and deaths of said animals. Now, the federal probe, which has not been previously reported, so this is the update to the story, was opened in recent months by the United States Department of Agriculture's Inspector General at the request of a federal prosecutor, according to two sources with knowledge of the investigation. The probe, one of the sources said, focuses on violations of the Animal Welfare Act, which governs how researchers treat and test some animals. Now, Neuralink is a company that, look, it seeks to do something wonderful. So I want to be fair and honest about that because so something, the, the putting brain chips inside of people and animals is something wonderful. See how they throw that out there? They're acting like, you know, yeah, this is, we're really investigating what this guy's doing. Because Elon Musk is just the face of it. Behind Elon Musk all right, are thousands to hundreds of thousands of other Edomites with money who have time on their hands to just conduct all manner of experiments and evil and wickedness. OK, when it all comes out what these devils have going on, we're going to need the spiritual power to contain how angry we're going to get. We only know just a little bit of what these devils are doing. OK, but we know overall that whatever they're doing in secret is wicked. The secret counsel of the wicked. All right. Go. It covers so much evil. OK, you devils have a lot of blood on your hands. You got to pay for what you did as Cain. All right. And you have to pay. For everything you've done as the, the, the Edomites. Okay? And the answer to all of the world's problems isn't technology, isn't a brain chip. The answer to the world's problems, all right, is setting up a system 
based upon righteousness and justice. All right. The earth first true justice needs to be played out on the earth. And then a system of righteousness needs to be implemented over the system of wickedness that has been implemented. OK, righteous order is what's needed on this planet Earth, not no goddamn brain chip. OK, people need to stop eating the things that they eat. People need to stop doing the unhealthy and wicked practices that they do. People need to stop bowing to idols. OK, people first need to acknowledge the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the righteous way, the righteous people. OK, that's what the throne of David, which is the kingdom of heaven, is going to offer to the planet Earth. A, a system of justice and righteousness being implemented, okay, which all of the people eventually benefit. See, the answer to the world's problem is not no goddamn microchip. That is absolutely absurd. Okay, so I just wanted to put that out there. But you see how she's making it seem like that is a good idea. That's a good thing. Because they're going to present that haragma as a means to help humanity. That's how it's being permitted, pro, uh, promoted. All right. As you know, this this great help, you know, or aid to people who can't walk, to people who can't, you know, see. That's how it's going to be promoted and, you know, and make people to fall for it as well. All right, but this is a whole nother form. This is a this is this is an enslavement on a mass scale. If they're able to accomplish this, could you imagine the power they would have if every individual on the planet Earth had a a, a brain chip? Could you imagine the power that would give them if everybody's movement thought, you know, uh, how much CO two they emit, you know. How many, how much resources they eat and gather a month. All of their transactions were on a grid. What they bought, what they sold. It was no, you know, no paper money to where you couldn't do things, you know, outside of the system. <laughs> and you think the so-called white man is trying to get this kind of power to help you? Anyway, let's keep going. Because the idea is implanting some sort of chip in the brain or of a paralyzed individual so they're able to communicate with the computer and be somewhat, basically somewhat free to function on their own, it's right? So it, they're whatever. looking to, to accomplish something really great. But obviously there are laws and regulations in place for a reason to protect animal welfare, to ensure that these trials aren't rushed, to ensure that certain protocols are met. And based on what the internal staff has been alleging, those protocols were not met and there was a lot of pressure to rush through these trials, which led to, according to them, unnecessary deaths of countless, I don't wanna say countless, 1,500, possibly more animals. Yeah, and that's, that's too much. One is too much. The fact that they're even... Uh, uh, able to gather all of these because you, you you always read these articles about these experiments that they're doing okay um that was i was even reading one article where pretty much one there's a particular species of rat and mice that they're, they're no longer really pure males they've altered the dna to the point to where there's a new kind of male basically and that's what they're trying to do with humans anyway <laughs> all right that's really the agenda you know to really you know manipulate and change who we really are okay and merge humanity with technology okay but the fact that they're even able to get all of these animals you always see well it, it, it worked on my the mouth the mouse it worked on rats you always see that when you read these experiments that they're doing there's always a rat that pops up or a monkey or a pig. Okay. And nobody's ever stopped to say, well, wait a minute, where the hell are they getting all of these monkeys? Pig? Why is this even legal? Because we live in a system of evil and wickedness ran by the people who came to do the bidding of Satan. This is what Satan would do if he ran the earth and he does rule the earth through his children. 
the biblical Edomites, who were blessed with the fatness of the earth, all right, uh, uh, world rulership, world uh, control over the resources by what? The sword. Okay? And worldwide, you have animals, all right, in captivity to these different uh, museums, to these different science projects, to these different labs by the billions all, over, all around the world. This is just investigating one little fraction of what they're doing. Okay? Goodness gracious. Now, the specific complaints uh, come from more than 20 former and current employees at Neuralink. In all, the company has killed about 1,500 animals, including more than 280 sheep, pigs, and monkeys following experiments since 2018, according to records reviewed by Reuters and sources with direct knowledge of the company's animal testing operations. So Reuters did a pretty good investigation into this themselves. And you know it's way more numbers. They just have you to believe it's in the hundreds. <laughs> yeah, okay. The thousands, okay. They looked at the documents. They interviewed dozens of individuals who either had worked at Neuralink or currently work at Neuralink. And here's what they found. They identified four experiments involving 86 pigs and two monkeys that were marred in recent years by human errors. The mistakes weakened the experiment's research value and required the tests to be repeated, leading to more animals being killed, three of the current and former staffers said. The three people attributed the mistakes to a lack of preparation by a testing staff working in a pressure cooker environment. And the pressure cooker environment is a comment or statement that you see repeated over and over again by the employees, by the staff, that... You know, there are certain methods in place that you should follow to prevent unnecessary deaths of the animals that are, you know, being used in these trials. And since there's this, this constant pressure to rush, 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 get it done, get it done, get it done, be more hardcore. Well, it leads to human errors, which then leads to these animals needlessly dying. And then they have to do the trial again. I mean, which... Okay, let's get the scripture. All right, so this is the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, where uh, Habakkuk is pretty much getting a vision of the rulership that will be in place, all right, before what happened in the third chapter happened, okay, which is total destruction, pestilence, fire, the cherry of, of salvation returning to deliver the tribes, okay? Uh, the Yahweh Shah's return is is documented, okay, via a vision given to Habakkuk, all right, in Habakkuk, the third chapter, okay, Habakkuk saw the, the destruction, and he was like, whoa, he saw the chariots of salvation, all right, verse 8, see, he saw Yahweh Shai come and thresh the heathen in his anger, he saw Verse 13, thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even the salvation of thine anointed. He saw that, all right? But before he saw that, the heavenly father gives him a vision of the nation that will be ruling in the planet earth before that. Because Habakkuk's cry was, when will this all end? Now we know, according to the Bible, Esau is the end of the world, okay? Babylon is the final kingdom that will be in rulership. OK. And it tells you. All right. In the book of uh, real quick, the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. OK, that Babylon. Let's see here would have animals, the souls of men. Let's see here. See, by that sorceries were all the nations deceived. Now, when you read about the things that made Babylon rich. And the things that they had, let's see here. Boom, here we go. It says, in cinnamon and odors and ointments, verse 13, Revelation 18 and 13, and frankincense, these are the things they had imported unto them. Because all of the races, nations are made rich, all right, through uh, uh, the, the, uh, Babylon. 
Okay, the consumer nation. It says, and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast. See, they had beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. This is what they had. This is what Babylon the Great had in their possession. And what do you think they're doing with uh, these beasts, these sheep, these slaves? All right, let's look up the word slave. Okay, the word slave. So I can... Okay, because we, we, we always hear about human trafficking. Okay, the Bible clearly identifies where we are. So we got the beast, the sheep, the horses. All right, these circus acts. These animals are in captivity. The marine world. All right, these particular dolphins and whales they have in captivity. All right, are meant to uh, pretty much swim so far a day all right but you got them locked away in these circles of water these little tubs of water and they're depressed you have the lord's creation in captivity including the animals man the word for slaves is soma all right dead corpses <laughs> the living body of animals bodies okay Number of men limited to the society, and you have everybody as a slave via the system of uh fractional reserve banking. Okay, but but clearly you have all of these things in your possession. Okay, negatively. Okay, you have the souls of men as well. Okay, which when you go to the souls of men. souls of men the psyche okay all right life the the living being the seat of feelings desires affections you have all of these things in your control and through witchcraft you're manipulating the people okay anyway my point of going to the book of habakkuk so he had we we see that he would have all of these things in in, in his possession okay so what we're going into with this guy, Elon Musk, can we can link that to the Bible. <laughs> All right. This is what the Bible is supposed to be used for to warn the people of where we are, man. Habakkuk 2. So verse 4 says what? Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. The just are going to live by a great deal of faith because the proud is going to lift himself up in the earth. On another level via his technology, his science, all right, his philosophy. But when you keep reading, this chapter pretty much breaks down the image of the beast, what he would do, all right, how he would start to be called out for his evil, for his wickedness, okay? Uh, Woe to him that built the town with blood and established the city by iniquity. How was Babylon the Great started? By love and unity? No. Rape, robbery, and murder by Edomite Christians. Okay? Let me just get to the point. Verse 16, thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. And that's what's happening. You devils are being exposed. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee in a shameful spewing shall be on thy glory so your glory is going to be turned into shame all right and nobody is with excuse because all of these things come out okay the fact that they're the devil and that they're lying and that they're corrupt it's it's it, you know they're telling on themselves they're showing you that they're not to be trusted yet you still have israelite leaders telling our people it's okay to bow the knee to the image of baal and take what they're given okay with the shameful spewing that's being put on these devils, the last thing any of you Israelites should be thinking is we're going to trust what the devil say and follow him. After everything he showed you, the system that's being implemented in the earth is anti Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So you as an Israelite, you're going to have to choose very soon what side are you on. 
And this is the severity of what we're a part of and why we constantly try to push this serious mindset of what's really happening. Okay? It's not about to be popular to have the opinion we have. It's not about to be popular to be an Israelite. Because Esau knows his end is coming. But what is that associated with in the scriptures? Jacob's kingdom coming. So there's getting ready to be a hell of a persecution on Jacob. Okay? But here's the point. <laughs> All right? Habakkuk 2 and 17. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee. Now, Lebanon means white. Now, the wood that Solomon got to build the temple, all right, primarily came from Lebanon. It means purity, white, okay? And you devils have been violent against everything pure, okay? Everything that was pure, you sought out to destroy it, taint it, okay? To take it from its pure state into confusion, including children, the earth. All right, the chosen people. Okay. So for the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee and the spoil of beast, which made them afraid. You know, those animals are trapped in those science labs afraid. They, they have spirits. Now you'll say, well, it's just a rat. It's just a mice. It's just a roach. It's just a pig. Well, those things were created for a purpose. All of those things that I just named we can go and look up their role in the in the ecosystem. It ain't none of it got to do with, with being used for experiments. This man is the absolute devil, the spoil of beast, which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. All right? So, yeah, we're calling you devils out for your wickedness, man. Okay? Because of the, 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 the spoil of beasts. Let's look up this word, spoil. So this, this chapter is uh, identifying the very system we live in right now. Okay, prophecy is heavy. Shad, okay, shad. Havoc, violence, destruction, devastation, ruin, ruin. You're ruining the animals. Violent. This is a violent practice that is just looked at as something normal. Okay, we're going to regulate how you treat the animals, but you could subject the animals to, to, to put, you know, the, the, these experiments. What? What are you doing? Oppression. You're oppressing the animals. <laughs> and this ain't just something we're going to look over. No, this is a problem. You're oppressing, wasting, robbing the animals, man. Habakkuk 2 and 17 in the NLT. You cut down the forest of Lebanon, which the people can be likened to trees. And, and the chosen people are at the top of that. Now you will be cut down. Okay. Isaiah 14 goes into that. You destroyed the wild animals. You went throughout the earth. You ruin ecosystems. You burn down rainforest. You're, you're, you're an absolute menace to society. You are a nigga. You are a thug. You're the true problem of the planet Earth. Okay? What niggas do in the hood, okay, with pit bulls, you do worldwide. Okay? How niggas shoot up their own neighborhoods, niggas poison their own neighborhoods. Niggas oppress their own neighborhood. You do that worldwide. You are who they mimic. The drug dealer. Okay, the one who's cruel to his animal. Okay, they're only mimicking what you do worldwide. But because you have a billion dollars in a suit, it's okay. What's the scripture say? I think that's Proverbs 12. The life of his beast. This is a goddamn shame. Proverbs 12 and 10. A righteous man regarded the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. The godly care for their animals, even animals that would be uh, up for sacrifice. Okay? There's a, a way they were treated. 
There was a diet they were fed. Okay, they weren't in this intense environment. Don't you know this dude has particular cows and cattle enslaved to where they can't have sex? He puts the sperm of the male into the woman. They're locked into these 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 cages to where their heads are stuck, all right, in these things. He doesn't let them freely roam about. He has them in these chaotic situations. All of the animals, the food that makes it to the markets, to where you go by to eat, the conditions that those animals are under, all right, it affects the condition of the meat. Okay? This man is the problem. Okay? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's wicked. You got cows walking around with holes on their side, all right, with, 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 with uh, plastic screens to where they can look at the di digestive system and watch it and track it. What are you doing? This dude sent animals out of space. The godly cares for the <laughs> the godly cares for the animals, but the wicked are always cruel. You think I'm going too far? You think I'm making that up? Let's uh one second. Here. Bam. This is what we'll do. We'll just go here. And we'll go to animals. Sent out of space. Animals sent into space. There you go. Animals in space originally serve as a, the to test servability of space flight before human space flights were, were attempted. So before they sent, before they went out of space, they sent animals out of space. Yep, tortoises, mice, rats, fish, okay, rabbits, frogs, spiders, quail eggs. So the quail egg out of space to see how long it would take them to die. Okay, so they were sending animals out of space. Okay, rats, monkeys, dogs, yeah, spiders. Yeah, who's at the forefront of it? Okay, Esau eat him. Okay? The severity of this man's wickedness. Okay? Sending animals out of space. What are you doing? On August 30 August 31st, 1950, the US launched a mouse into space which unlike yada, 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 did not have a monkey. However, the animal died following the scent because of the parachute system. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. All right. Numerous monkeys of several species were flown by the U.S. in the 1950s and 60s. Monkeys were implanted with sensors, all right, to uh, measure vital signs. Many were under anesthesia during the launch. <laughs> they had the monkeys high as hell. All right. The death rate amongst these monkeys was very high. About two-thirds of all monkeys launched in the 1940s and 50s died on missions soon after landing. Oh, my goodness, man. I mean, what more do we need to see? Okay. The godly care for the animals, but the wicked is always cruel. All right, even his tender mercies, what he deems as mercy is cruel. Okay, this is this man got to go. All right, this man got to go. Absolutely, he got to go. So the, the, the spoil of beast. Okay. You committed murder throughout the countryside. You fill all the towns with violence. You see that? That's what it said you would do. Which ultimately that is the uh red horse. Revelation six and three, and when he opened the seal, 
The second cell, I heard the beast say, come and see. And there went out and there was another horse represents power structure that was red. Esau. It's called the red dragon in Revelation 12, Rome. And power was given him that set thereon to take away peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. You see, so he took peace from the earth. Everybody's killing one another via war. All right. They, they, all, everybody has these weapons killing one another. OK, and that great sword was given to Esau as a blessing from Isaac, along with the fatness of the earth. This is why you devils have what you have. But see, this is where we're living at. OK, Revelation 11. And 18 and the nations were angry and thy wrath has come in the time of the dead that they should be judged. The dead are you nations who do the works of dead. OK, the, everything is about death in our earth. OK, everything we, we see being perpetuated is predicated on death. OK, the 187s, you got women marching to do and perform the A to the B to the Orsians. <laughs> the Bible speaks against that. And you have all of these Christians in the world and they're not speaking on any of these atrocities. OK, and that thou shouldest give reward so the wicked Okay, Esau, Edom, the rest of the heathen, and the two-thirds are the dead. Okay, they put forth the works of death. It's time for them to be stopped and judged. Okay, all of the, the workers of iniquity must be stopped. Okay? <laughs> the, the, the throne of David is going to put a chain around these wicked elite. As a matter of fact, Let's get the book of Isaiah 24 real quick to, to su substantiate that. Okay, because we're not just talking. The Bible says all of this. Isaiah 24. Okay. And 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage. That's because of the destruction that's coming. And the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. And it shall fall and not rise again. This world system that rules right now, it's never going to rule again. Babylon will never rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh will punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high and the kings upon the earth. Elon Musk is a part of that. See, let's read that in the NLT. In that day, the Lord will punish the gods in heaven, which th this is their heaven. That's why the scriptures say, O Lucifer, how thou fallen from heaven. Lucifer just means the bearer of the light. They call themselves the Illuminati. Okay. And they've been identified. So now they're openly pushing what they deem as light onto the world, which is really darkness. So the Lord is going to punish the gods in heaven. Okay. The ones that are on high and heaven represents rulership. Okay. You have under the heavens here on earth, you have the heaven in the heavens, the spiritual realm, all right, the, 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 uh, the, where, where the most high and the angels dwell and all of that. But this is considered a heaven. Okay. And the proud rulers of the nations on earth. Now, who are the proud rulers of the nations on the earth? That's you Edomites. All of you heathen who are joined unto them as well. Okay. You're going to be stopped. Okay. And it shall come to pass. In that day shall Yahweh punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth that are upon the earth. Punish. You need to be put on punishment. And your punishment is a thousand years of captivity. And then eventually you are going to be wiped out. No more. The rest of the heathen will be able to stay, but they're going to witness you being taken down or as well as them in their own power being taken down. But they're going to know when it's all said and done. We do not mess with these people. We do not rebel against the Lord. Sin is not good. Pakad. Pakad is the word in the Hebrew for punish, to attend, to reckon, to punish, to appoint, to look after, to care for, to pay attention. And see, this is what this earth lacks. Nobody's paying attention to real evildoers. They're just roaming freely, wiggling around the earth, doing whatever the hell they want to do. Like you have that, uh, uh, that, uh, there's this video on YouTube called Man, okay, <laughs> to punish, review. So, the, the, <laughs> see, right now you're being investigated 
Okay, but you're going to be visited. There's going to be a judgment and you're going to be punished. And they shall gather together and they shall be gathered together as the prisoners that are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison. Why are they going to be shut up in the prison? Because they are going to be uh, 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 persecuted, man. And you're wrong. All of this stuff that you're doing, there's a judgment for that. So we're going to gather you up in the pit and shut you up in the prison. All right. And then we're going to be uh, visit you. See, this is prophetic. All right. You, you, you got to, hey, you're a fugitive. Remember the fugitive is one who has done wrong, but hasn't paid for it. And you are vagabond and a fugitive in the earth right now, but you've been identified through this testimony, which is going to lead to you getting your sentence. Okay. A thousand years of captivity and then uh, obliterated out of the planet Earth. Okay? And when you look at what's happening, it's needed. Now, that message is going to be deemed as hateful. Okay? But really, who's hateful? Psalms 21 and 10. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagine a mischievous device, that chip, which they are not able to perform and everything else they got planned. By the way, takes up more time. It's just so stupid and insanely cruel to the animals, of course. Now, the sources characterized that figure as a rough estimate, the 1500 figure as a rough estimate, because the company actually does not keep precise records on the number of animals uh, tested and killed. Um, there are other animals like rats and mice that are not included at all. Uh, so just something to keep in mind, a caveat that I think is important. Now, one employee in messages seen by Reuters wrote an angry missive this year to colleagues about the need to overall overhaul how the company organizes animal surgeries um, to prevent hack jobs. The rush schedule, the employee wrote, resulted in underprepared and overstressed staffers Scrambling to meet deadlines and making last minute changes before surgeries, uh, which, of course, that raises risks to the animals. And I think the risks uh, were carried out with the insane number of animals that died during these clinical trials. The mistakes leading to unnecessary animal deaths included one instance in 2021 when 25 out of 60 pigs in a study had devices that were the wrong size implanted in their heads, an error that could have been avoided with more preparation. So what, what is this really about, okay? Do I think that there's this intentional effort by employees and leadership at Neuralink to be cruel to animals, to kill animals? No, I don't think that's what... what of course that's what it is. And see, these little networks, they, they set up to act like something is really being done about their wickedness or they're investigating one another. Nothing's going to come of this. Elon Musk, ain't, the, the, the true justice is going to come from on high, man. OK, true justice ain't going to come from anywhere in this system. OK, let's just type in justice. All right. These people are wicked. Job 8 and 3, doth God pervert judgment or doth the Almighty pervert justice? Nope. And, and we're getting ready to see through the judgment. Psalms 82 and 3, defend the poor and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. All right, Psalms 89 and 14, justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne, mercy and truth. All right, go before thy face. All right, but here we go. Isaiah 9 and 7. Of the increase of his government, Yahweh's government, and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David. All right. Upon his kingdom to order it, to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth forever. The zeal of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will perform this. So I just wanted to go into that. Hopefully y'all were edified. On to the next. Shalom.